Well, let me tell you, last night I was finishing up that 12-pack natural lap. You know that's my favorite. Oh, what we got coming in over here. Oh, yeah, it's on now. What can we do for you today, sweetheart? All right, now she says that these wipers ain't working right. So, let's see. Am I doing this right? Oh, I see. So, it's working on low and high, but not on pause. This is going to be a good one. All right, sweetheart. Well, we're going to have to replace that uh, wiper motor, sweetheart. That's going to cost about $500, sweetheart, parts and labor. And uh, it's going to take us about a week, week and a half, sweetheart, to get to that. So we'll just have to give you a call when the car's ready. All right, sweetheart. God, I hate that guy. So I've been having some minor electrical issues with my car. Uh, my car's a 2012 uh, town and country. So it's, you know, been around a few years, seen some action. The windshield wipers on intermittent mode don't pause. They just kind of stop and they don't go anywhere. It still works on low and high, but not um, in intermittent mode. Also, the rear seat heater on the passenger side isn't working. The power outlets in the console haven't been working. So I've been having these little minor issues, but they're not big enough issues for me to actually take the car in and try to get it repaired and pay all that money. I just kind of put up with those problems. But I got to give it to my husband on this one. Manfix knows a little bit more about cars than I do. And when I was mentioning the wiper problem to him the other day, he said, you know, it could just be a relay. And I said, great. What's a relay? So I did a little bit of research and it turns out a relay is basically just a glorified fuse. Um, it's, it's larger and it, it can take a little bit more power. Um, these here are uh, all considered relays as opposed to just a regular standard fuse. My friend John, the electrical engineer, will probably slap me next time he sees me for oversimplifying it that way. But in layman's terms, that's really what a relay is. Pretty much anything electrical in your car is going to come through this fuse box in some way. Uh, at least most stuff will, at least as far as I can tell. Now there's a lot of different fuses and relays in here, and I've learned that each electrical system might operate off of more than one of these fuses or relays. So you might have to try a few. It's kind of like the circuit breaker in your house when you're trying to figure out which one actually turns off the light in that room. Is that it? How about that one? It's kind of like that. So I'm going to try out a few of these and see uh, if I can make some of those uh, things work again. I frankly don't know if this is going to fix the problem, but I'm going to give it a shot. So we'll see. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's extremely detailed. And there's all these little different acronyms like PCD and EBL and all kinds of stuff that I have no idea what it does. But that's what Google's for. <laughs> Change those fuses and now I'm going to check and see if that if the changes actually worked. Let's see. All right, this is intermittent mode on the wiper. All right, it goes one time. Oh, okay, that didn't fix the problem. All right, let's try something else. All right, next I'm going to try one of these power plugs that wasn't working before. Let's see, this is the one that runs off of the car when it's running. <gasps> and look, it's charging. Hey, now let me check the other ones because the other ones also weren't working, none of them were. I have multiple in this car. Let's see. Oh, that one's still not working. So, got one of those plugs to work. All right, rear seat heater. Let's see. Let's see if it's... Okay. All right, well, that one didn't get fixed. All right, another one from back here is that this door, this rear door doesn't always open with the button, so I'm gonna see if that fixed. Oh, oh my gosh, it fixed. All right, the final result is that some of the things were fixed, some of them weren't, but it was definitely worth it to check those fuses. You know, it's an easy, it could be something as simple as that and not even necessary for you to take it in because it is so easy to check that yourself. So uh, definitely keep some fuses on hand for when those things start to go because they will start to go as your cars get older. Y'all have a great day and look for my next video on Chick Fix. Fix, fix you up. Chick Fix, fix you up. Chick Fix, fix you up. Chick fix fix you up.